box of salt. And a dead end. But uh, Ow. All I got all I got a reward for that was pain. Don't see much else going on around here. Yeah, I'm hopping around with a torch and I'm not seeing things lighting up to indicate that anything's around. Huh. Might as well rest. Get the healing items real back real quick. Could level up a couple times if I ever find my way back to one. I can't jump on this, even though it looks like you could. So I can't go like climbing up on that wall. Alright, so where do I want to go from here? Uh, am I supposed to do that? Oh. 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 Oh god. I, I made a pain. Well, I have a shrine right here, so I don't have to worry about it too much. For a second there, I thought this was the platforming section from earlier, but no, this is new, isn't it? Oh. No. No. Ah. Aren't timing platforming things fun? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. I'm going to be too late now again. Yep. Just killing myself. I am, uh, I am bad at this. <laughs> I am absolutely bad at this. Ah, oh, crap. I keep smashing my face into the wall instead of platforming, which is frustrating. Huh? Huh? Faster? Faster? Where am I going from there? Crap. No, ah! I'm already not great at platformers, but the part where I can't tell where I'm even trying to go in advance is really frustrating. Because half the time the platformers- the platforms are invisible. You just have to figure out. Huh? No! Huh? No, that was- that was just bad decision making right there. I can see the next door up there somewhere, so we're getting close, but damn, man. Huh? There- wow, that was perfect timing on accident. Yes! Oh. You know what I don't see here is a checkpoint. Ah. <laughs> uh, what happens if I fall? Uh, well, thought it was gonna thought it was gonna appear before me in time. It did not. I'm trying to take off my character's clothes to see if it helps my jumping or not. Don't really know. It was a thing in Dark Souls, at least. No, not, not that time. I was too late. <sighs> it takes a fairly long time just to get back up there again. The part I have the most trouble with is just getting on the first platform, honestly. Because <laughs> I have to pre I have to do a relatively lengthy amount of jumping on walls to. And time it correctly so that the platform's there when I get there. Or that happens. Yeah. I made it. Oh, thank God. What else are you guys? You guys are new? Hello? Die, die, die. Why do you live up here? Greetings, traveler. Looks like you found a sanctuary of the keepers of the fire and sky. We worship the sky, for in it lies the ethereal weave of fire. Most powerful of all magics. You found our citadel. Would you like- would you set aside the gods you now hold and worship the sky? Nope. Greetings, traveler. Looks like you found a sanctuary. So he just- he loops. He doesn't have anything else to say. Look at this craziness up here. 
All right. Yeah, all you have to do is give up your pre your current associations. Stone guide. Where am I? I don't know. At least I have a checkpoint, right? I used that already, right? Yeah, just be double checking. Flask of fire. The fire that fuels the soul made liquid by ancient alchemy of the keepers of fire and sky. Quaff it to restore some hit points. I think I shan't. Up here? What's up here? Cha! Nope, we're friendly. <gasps> oh shit. Well this was worth it. I got the I got the upgrade I need to max out my current weapon. That last jump was an ex it was especially a dick, wasn't it? Eh, it wasn't. There was a few tricks along the way. Alright. Can I have up here? Really? Wow, weird. I think they actually flagged certain walls as being impossible to climb for some reason, while other ones are totally mandatory. Oh well. Oh, you look familiar. What is your deal? I think that might be the two parallel lines we saw before. I'm just gonna unequip everything, basically. All this, all these pieces of salt. So I want to be able to platform up, and I think your equip load might be effect affecting things. Let's see how it goes. Huh, huh, huh. Go, 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 go. Careful, careful, careful. We made it. Oh, we're just here. Well, this is rather unimportant. Well, crap. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess I'll just use a bell. Uh, oh yeah. That's the that's the way to go. We'll use a bell. Most most recently visited sanctuary. Go. There we go. And then I can just plop a. Uh, I can't make an offering. You can't because it's not yours, huh? That's my bad. Well, crap. I was gonna try to plop down a uh, a scout here. Doesn't the horn let me go wherever I want, though? Uh, sounded to travel to any sanctuary with a guide in it. Wow. Let's just head on down. Don't I have... Those are all the ones with guides in them, right? I guess that's fine, it doesn't really matter. Because a guide could take me to any sanctuary. So I want to get... My goal here is to try to get to the sanctuary. Hello, hello, guide. I'm trying to get back to the base level so I can continue from there. The pitch woods, there we go. Oh, wait. God damn it. God damn it. Right. I just remembered that the... I just remembered the shrine all the way at the bottom isn't... Ah! The shrine at the very bottom doesn't have a- isn't a, uh, faction shrine, it's- it's a- it's a mini shrine. Alright, well I'm gonna climb all the way up there and then go all the way around and redo the whole platforming segment to get down there again. Unless I'm misremembering something, in which case I'll just feel silly again. It happens. At long last I am returned. Now I just need to get past all the- all those creepy impaled horse things. I rested at the shrine, I'm now down at the floor, I've gone past the creepy spiked horse things that were bouncing on poles. Hopefully they're not chasing me. Now I just need to deal with these bastards over here. He seems nice. Oh god. Whoa. Um... This strikes me as un- as- as un- unintentional. Somehow. Hey, look, an item. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I don't think I'm supposed to be here, as it turns out. Uh, ha, ha. Uh, ha. Look at all these switches. I can't wait to use them. Um. Well. I guess I'm just gonna have to equip that Bell of Return. What the f- what in the world just happened? Salt and Sanctuary, what did I do to you today? You just seem mad about something. Oh, no, I was ro- no! 
I was specifically trying to get a roll off in time. Damn it. I don't know what I'm- I don't know how I'm messing up this bad. Can I aggro just one of you? Die, die. What? You're alive? No, you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Damn it. The hits felt weirdly inconsistent there. I'm so pissed off at these unicorns, man. These fucking unicorns. Die, unicorns. Where are they at? You're in there somewhere. Die. 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 Douchey. Oh, that one was worth more experience. So one of the one of the unicorns is stronger than the other ones. That's what was messing with me so much. Is there was a third one of the three was harder to kill and was so he wouldn't die in the two shots like the other ones would. So that messed my whole rhythm of how I'm gonna beat them. And he was one shotting me when the other ones weren't. Let's be careful here. I think I might. Hut. There we go. Son of a bitch. I don't know what all these platforms are for. The ruined temple. Can't I just have a shrine? Please? A sanctuary? I just want one on this... Siam Lake? All I want is a sanctuary on this side of the unicorns. You're friendly? Well, look how far we've come. I've been on this island for a long, long time. The air, the salt of the sea, it all hangs to me like an ancient crust. And the shipwrecked, like you, so many shipwrecked sailors, so much fleshy flotsam. Fleshy flotsam with a shared secret. You are all betrayed, you are. I've seen slaves and horrors masquerading as nobles. I've seen soldiers and sailors wrecked from the same ship with different ideas as to what their mission was. You sad, sad wanderers. Do you know by whom you were betrayed? And why? You had your princess to find, or did you? We'll meet again soon. Shrine, 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 shrine? Shrine? Shrine! Yay. I was starting to get worried, honestly. Here we go. Ah. Alright, don't have to deal with those unicorns for a while now. Alright, so we have three things to explore, I think. Maybe four if there's something over here. The main things that came to mind was that there's, uh... By the unicorns, there's platforms above them that I should explore. I need to find out what's, the, what's up with the ruined temple, what's up with Siam Lake, or Siam Lake. And what's over here? This must lead somewhere too, right? This door doesn't open? Hello? Diamond Cluster. That's a really valuable upgrade item. And here's these guys that we could see underneath. Yeah, these guys were... Hello. Die. You think you can steal my light? We saw these guys... Oh, cool. This might be the other side of that weird area I saw. So we, now we can skip that entire region. And go back and forth across this gap we saw earlier. Cool. That's straightforward. And so those two gates are what we were seeing a glimpse of when we were knocked through the environment earlier in the weird white background. Where no environment is- no, uh, where no light can be ex 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 exist. But I can't interact with that, uh, gate over here. Right, there's- there's a lever behind it, so that's how you get to that somehow. Okay, that's- that's one loose end filled up. Okay, so, I'm gonna take a break, but next time we'll be figuring out one of these locations at the very least. There's- there's Siam Lake, there's the Ruined Temple, and then there's those platforms above the unicorns on the top left that I still haven't... I haven't checked out yet. Suppose... There, I'll, I'll, pop, a, I'll pop a guide down here real quick. Because I could... I was about to take a break, but one last little detail, actually. Go to Mao's Floating Castle. The Floating Castle is just a cool location, so I've just de deemed it as being the place where I put my four vendors I use all the time. Well, three vendors and a guide to get me back out. 
is where my blacksmith and my merchant and my infuser are. Uh, enchanter? Alchemist? It does whatever. We should be able to upgrade our weapons, right? Oh, I might not have the experience on me right now, but the Phoenix Tail. Yep, well, there's the charred tome to give me another chunk of damage on this weapon. How about you? We need one more relinquary to... No, we have three out of two. Okay. I'm gonna go kill that guy upstairs a few times, because I can upgrade both my weapons. So we should probably do that. Oh wait, maybe I don't need to actually, because we have the... The crate of salt. And the case of salt. How big are these? 7,500? There's a 10,000 right there. And I have a box of salt. How do I keep finding more and more salt things? That's another 5,000. Okay, that's actually- that's enough right there. No quick farming necessary. I already have the salt on me. My secret is I'm angry all the time. Alright. Phoenix Tail. So it's going to go from 39 point... Uh, two more physical damage. One more fire damage. For three overall more damage. And they'll scale as I increase my stats. Hopefully. But also, I get to say that I have a rank 7 class 4 weapon. And here's the Musketoon. Going up to 6. Now I assume I need the, the, to the Frozen Tome to finish it off? Sure do. Hadn't even heard anything about a Frozen Tome yet, I don't think. But if I have a Charred Tome for one hand, obviously that one's going to require a Frozen Tome. That'll give it another 3... Another 3.1 attack and almost an extra point of holy. Thankfully, that scales with dexterity, so it keeps getting stronger over time. Scary, scary gun weapon. All right, that is good. So now I have a Lucent Musketoon 6, Phoenix Tail 7, about as upgraded as this stuff can get. All right, guys, see you next time.